to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be doing a huge January 2022 Primark haul. I went to Primark yesterday and I haven't done a big Primark shop in a very long time, but I've been seeing a lot of people go and get some really good things. So I decided to go to the one in, well, near the Arndale in the center of Manchester. And oh my God, they had some incredible bits. One, and not only is the home section insane, it is literally like Zara Home and H&M Home and kind of made, to be honest, all mixed up in one, but for like Primark prices. I went to the Milton Keynes one at Christmas when I was home and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sad they don't have all this in Manchester and they do so get yourself to this Primark because this is where I got all of this stuff from and to be honest only one bag of it is actually homeware I got some really 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 good stuff and a lot of like designer dupes obviously I had to come on here and do a Primark haul for you guys because I know you're gonna love it and yeah you just need to get yourself to Primark so I hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started so I am just gonna grab a bag at a time and just go through it so there isn't gonna be any order to this however it does look like I've pulled out the homeware bag so like i said the homeware section was amazing i didn't go overboard because i just don't really need any home stuff but there was just some bits that i could not leave first of all i got this mini reed diffuser because i bought the big one when i was at home and i've got it in the office and it smells incredible so i got the little one for my coffee table in here and it is cotton and it was nine pounds i think this was a little bit expensive to be honest for what it is because i paid 12 pound for the big one i didn't actually realize this was nine pounds but they do smell amazing and i love the bottle as well which is looks really sleek and really nice and yet like i said the smell is incredible it really does fill the whole room with scents yeah this is cotton but they did loads of other scents as well so i picked up this and then i picked up these two big candlesticks so this is this one it is massive this was 10 pounds and it looks like this i thought this was so fun mine actually does have a little chip in it which is really annoying um but it was the last one left so i just wanted to get it anyway because the candle's gonna go on here so you won't be able to see it but i thought this would be so nice for somewhere in my living room and then i also got the smaller version of it stand next to it here's the smaller version this one was only four pounds which is so good and i just thought next to each other like that they would be so cool with some pillar candles on don't know where i'm gonna put them yet but somewhere in my living room but for 14 pounds pounds for both of these if you got these from elsewhere it would honestly cost you probably 30 40 quid easily so yeah picked up both of these and then i'm pretty sure yeah i think this is the last home thing i got i just got this cute little wicker basket it was five pounds and it's actually a wall hanging basket so you can just use this bit and hang it onto the wall but i don't think I'll actually hang it onto the wall. I think I'm just gonna pop it in my living room um, just to like hold some stuff in. I've got some baskets over by that mirror at the moment, but I wanted to change them out. So I think I'm gonna pop this one there instead just because it's a bit lighter and a bit brighter. Um, but they had loads of other colors. They had loads of rattan stuff as well. You know, that rattan chair that I've got in my bedroom from H&M, I paid, I think 120 pounds for that. And in Primark, it was 45 pounds. Like, oh my God. The home section was amazing. You definitely need to go there and have a look at it. But yeah, those are just the little bits that I picked up um, and I'm so happy with them. Next up, let's go for this bag. So I don't actually know if the woman has kindly put them in some sort of order, um, but this is closed now. Although I have just realized this is another little home that I got. I got three waffle cloths for the kitchen and they were £1.50. And I love waffle cloths. I've got some hand towels in my bathroom that are waffle. Um, and I think it just looks so nice. So you get a grey one, kind of like a brownie one, and then a nude one. And yeah, for £1.50, you can't really go wrong, to be honest. First up, I got a gelée. So I haven't actually got one of these this year yet. And I feel like they've been around and in fashion for a while now and I was a bit like on the fence about it I was like I don't know if it's gonna suit me I don't know if I'm gonna like it I like having my arms covered but then Freya spotted this one and I was like this is a really nice quality and it's a really different color so it does oh it was 18 pounds which for a gelée of this quality I think is really really good but, and yeah it's just kind of like a brownie sort of off black color if that's even possible it's a really really nice shade and they also did it as well in other colors they did it in black they did it in white and they did it in like a greeny color as well but something about this color I just really liked because I wear a lot of black i didn't want to get a black one but i wanted something that would you know go with black so yeah i picked up this and it's really thick i think it's gonna be really warm i'm actually gonna shoot in this today when i go out and take some pictures and i just thought this was really nice for 18 pounds so if you do want a good gelée definitely look in primark then i picked up this and to be honest i don't actually know what this is they had a lot of like random little clothing bits that i thought would just look really cool i don't really know how i'm gonna wear it yet but it's this it's basically a water resistant bib 
which is really random but for a picture i thought it could look quite cool so it's eight pounds and then it's got like a hood and it just looks like this and i thought with leggings or with like a jumper underneath thought this could look sick i don't actually know what it's for like i really don't it was just in the handbag section i mean freya were like oh that's actually quite cool and then just got these little side bits here so it basically is like a bib like do you run in this is it like some, some sort of gym wear i literally don't know but it was eight pounds i thought it could look really cool for a picture so picked up that and then if you were going to get anything from this haul you need to run to primark not walk you need to run to primark because they have got the mini uggs mini uggs are everywhere at the moment everybody wants them and i wanted them also and they're like 120 pound i think and something just said to me just go and have a look in primark first before you buy the real ones because you know it's like a not like primark always has dupes everything walked in one of the first things that i saw were these ugg boots and these were six pounds six pounds and they had loads of them in the manchester one and they look pretty much identical to the mini uggs like they, if i saw someone wearing these i just assume they are the mini uggs and inside they are all furry and they're just so nice and i haven't had a pair of ugg boots since i was a kid like i used to wear these all the time when i was a kid but now these have come back in fashion i was like oh my god so yeah six pounds you need to get yourself to primark they also had them in black and another color as well like a darker brown i wanted the kind of like classic brown ugg sort of color but yeah how fun are these i'm obsessed with them them. next bag here first of all on here we've got hats so they had a lot of like this sort of material stuff um, and i thought this was really nice i mean it's quite big very big actually they had a lot of this material stuff in there and i thought this would be really really cool because i don't really wear hats unless it's like a cap um and i've got a couple of caps but i don't have any like bucket hats so yeah i picked up this one and i love it it's quite flimsy that's the only thing it's not very structured but it was only five pounds so for five pounds you can't really go wrong i thought it'd be a nice little addition to like some sort of outfit um just to make it a little bit more spicy you know next up in here we have got a bag they had a lot of bags in there and a lot of them were designer dupes as well which obviously i love this one was six pounds and i thought this was a really cute little bag it's like mm. a new i don't have an answer for that something keeps going on in my lecture at the moment because last night i was in bed and my tv started making weird noises and then alexa started talking to me and she keeps doing that and i really don't like it it's nude and then it's got this kind of like i don't know like twisty handle and then this detailing here and it's got a long strap and then the detailing is gold they had a black one but the detailing was silver and obviously because i always wear gold i needed gold detailing um but it's got quite a lot of room inside and i just really liked it for six pounds i thought it was a nice little simple bag to use because i'm not gonna lie i am a bit of a handbag hoarder um i collect handbags it's a bit of an addiction next up we have got this and i thought this was so cool again this is kind of like the vest thing that i picked up but this one's obviously a bit cooler i think it's that fleecy material it was eight pounds and you can just put it over like a jumper or like a black high neck or something like that and i thought this was so cool um and yeah it's basically Basically just like a fleecy vest i've never seen anything like it but i thought it was really cool obviously as you guys know if you'd follow my instagram cheeky little plug go and follow it because i do loads of outfit stuff on there i wear a lot of black and a lot of like new very neutral colors so things like this to chuck over black outfits is kind of what i look for um and i kind of want to do a styling video with these on my instagram because i think they're so cool so if you do want me to do a styling video with all this stuff let me know next up i got a blazer and this was the most expensive thing that i bought it was 25 pounds but i think you can tell a definite a quality difference between this one and the ones that are a bit cheaper so it's literally just a big gray boxy oversized blazer and it's like that dark quite expensive looking gray and it's got two buttons so you can obviously do it up but i think i'm just more gonna wear mine as a throw over for like a high neck or a jumper or some trousers or something like that but i thought this was so fun i'm obsessed with it it's got pockets here oh they're fake pockets but it's a really nice heavy duty boxy padded blazer and that is exactly what i wanted so this is actually the one of the first things i saw when i walked in and just in case you guys are curious i got mine in a size 12 um and yeah absolutely love that so excited to wear that out next up i got a scarf and i'm not gonna lie i'm not normally a scarf person but freya spotted this one and this is right up my street so it is one of these like padded scarves and again i see these all over instagram and i think they look so good so i was like okay i need to get one and yeah how cool is this it was six pounds and i absolutely love it i haven't actually tried it on because i just picked it up and i was like oh i want that but do you just wear them like this or like some people on instagram like fully do this but i don't think i could be able to do that but just like round your neck like this it's actually really warm like i can feel the warmth on my neck already do you see what i mean though by i've picked up like a lot of very trending items at the moment i feel like you see all these items all over social media and you never know where to get them but like primark like primark actually is the place to get them and then i picked up here just a plain little bodysuit so this one was six pounds and it is gray and it is ribs and then it's just got a bit of a high neck and this is sort of like staple piece that i like to have in my wardrobe and yeah i 
I thought it was really, really nice. I don't think it's going to be see-through at all, which is really good. And yeah, they did this again in loads of other colours. I really liked this, like, charcoal-y grey colour. I don't have one like that. And then I picked up another bag. This reminded me a bit of a Chanel bag, and I don't have any bags like this. I don't know why, to be honest, because I really like them. But again, it's that sheepskin sort of material, and it's got so much room in it. And then it's just got the gold detailing again, which I love. And I just thought for a shoulder bag moment, this is so nice. Like, I love it. I feel like it's just very different to all the bags that I have. It's double handled. Um, it's £12 as well. I don't think there's a long strap. No, so it's just you just like this. But how nice is this? And this is a definite Chanel sort of bag dupe. So yeah, £12 compared to four grand. Yes, please. And we are on to the final bag. So I picked up this travel wash bag. This was six pounds and it's just a massive, massive bag. You've got place for your brushes. You've just, yeah, got loads of room in there because I think, I don't know if this is going up whilst I'm there, but I'm actually going to LA. So make sure you follow my Instagram and my TikTok and all that good stuff to keep up with it. The videos are coming very soon. So I needed something to take all of my toiletries in. So I actually opted for this. I just thought Primark is the place to get stuff like this. So then I can reuse it all the time. And I like how it's got like brush holders. So yeah, six pounds for that. I thought that was really good. And then obviously I had to pick up the essentials. I picked up some socks because I'm always in dire need of socks. I don't understand where my socks go. These were two pound fifty um, each, and I got a pack of five white and a pack of five black. They're actually arch support workout socks, which I just realised. But that's good because I've told myself I'm going to try and go to the gym all this year. Then I picked up the essentials, just some cotton pads. These are ninety p for a hundred oval cotton pads. So I just picked up two packets because I go through these like nobody's business. Then. I picked up some slippers so I really wanted a nice pair of slippers for around the house because I always just walk around in socks and I don't know if it's really going to get any colder now if it's just going to get warmer but my feet are always so cold and I have to double up on socks so I saw this pair of slippers and they were six pounds and their memory foam as well and I just thought these were so nice they're just like a brown crisscrossy material they feel so soft against your skin and again they did these in loads of different colours they did them in pink lilac blue green black literally every colour you could think of but I thought this like nudie brown colour was really nice so yeah got these and the fact that they're memory foam as well i'm so excited to wear these then very random but very much needed i just picked up this two-in-one usb charging cable it says it works with iphone and a micro usb devices and it's two meters long so this is four pounds and i really need a phone charger so i just picked this up then i picked this up and this is two pounds and it's just like a little wallety sort of thing to put your cards and your money in but this is an exact copy of the bottega one and the bottega one is like 300 pounds and as soon as i saw this i was like oh my god that's like the bottega one and they also did it in the green as well the very specific Bottega green but I wanted black because the majority of my handbags are black so I got this one but yeah how nice is this it's just like a stitched kind of like checkerboard material and then obviously you've got a place for your money and your cards and stuff so yeah I got this and I really really like it I actually might go back and get the green one just because it's, it's two pounds like that is so affordable for that then I picked up some essentials I just got some leggings I don't tend to wear Primark leggings out because sometimes they are quite see-through that is the only thing with the cheaper leggings because these are two pound fifty a pair but for around the house or if you're like layering up so you want to put like leggings underneath some trousers because it's that cold or you're wearing like a long coat or anything then I can wear them so yeah just picked up two pairs of these because I always wear leggings I then picked up a sports bra and I thought this was so nice it was five pounds and it's just grey so I'm just trying to figure out on earth to get it off the hanger it's just a little grey one and then it says on it push forward and I thought this was really really nice the Primark gym stuff was actually amazing they had such a big gym section in this Manchester Primark and yeah this was five pounds I think I said it was yeah five pounds I thought it was really nice so I'm excited to wear that and it's got a bit of boob support as well which is very much needed I thought I actually got some gym shorts somewhere as well so I must have already taken them out but anyway the final things that I got were some like underwear -y sort of sets but they're more like loungewear sets so this one was six pounds and it's a black ribbed top with some black knickers and I thought these were really really nice it was a matching set it reminds me a lot of the ones that sisters and seekers do actually and I have one of them and it was like I think they're like 25 pound for the set maybe and these feel I'm not gonna lie the exact same quality the exact same um and yeah really really like them so I picked up this in black then this one was five pounds and I picked this one up in grey so this one is actually a thong and then this bit is a bit thinner but I thought this was really really nice to wear just under like a hoodie or under some clothes or even just when you get out of the bath and you want like something cosy to put on you can put these on underneath your pajamas and yeah these are like a grey ribbed material and then finally they had like a wellness section on like they just had really nice like pajamas and stuff in it so I picked up these and this was five pounds so it's a cute little kind of like a whitey grey vest top and then these were six pounds and these are the matching shorts so these were a little
little bit more expensive because they were from like the wellness section bit but all the stuff was so nice i just had to pick it up and i don't really have any like pajama stuff like this because i don't really tend to have pajamas um but i thought this was just a really nice little set to wear under a dressing gown and yeah again they did it in so many different colors that was the end of my primark haul for january 2022 i hope you guys have enjoyed if you want me to do these monthly or like every couple of months please let me know because now i've been into primark and i've got like a taste for all the new stuff that they do i just want to keep going back but obviously i want to leave it long enough in between to make sure that they've got new stock in so i can like get enough to actually show you guys a good amount for a haul so yeah i am definitely going to do some styling videos of all this primark stuff over on my instagram so if you want to see how i style it make sure to go and check out my instagram it is just anastasia kingsnorth and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye <laughs>